Okay, it's still Thursday, August 7th, 9.45, and I'm at the Hall of Justice, <coughs> the Hall of Justice, <coughs> the Hall of Justice, <coughs> to follow up and press charges with my LGBT liaison and new police reports. Uh, you saw how I was treated yesterday. Let's hope that today I'm treated a little bit more civilly. Hello? All right, we'll wait for them to come out. Um, I want to file a uh, police report uh, for what I believe yesterday uh, was per their informative literature here. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, resource guy, blah, 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 blah working together, you've seen the propaganda in the window, you've seen how I've been treated, you know, working together. Hmm. But anyway, if you open it up, it says, know your rights. Uh, in the state of California, lesbian and gay, bisexual and transgender individuals are legally protected from discrimination, bigotry, and assault. Penal Code 422 makes it a felony and adds serious penalties if someone assaults you or interferes with your civil rights. Okay. If someone assaults you or interferes with your civil rights because of your actual or perceived race, religion, gender, gender identity, ethnicity, sexual orientation, national origin, or disability. Well, yesterday when I uh, went to the Special Victims Unit, I believe the video is here where you saw the captain come out and inform me about Section 632, which I believe, you know, falls under this section. You know, I do believe that, you know, I, my civil rights were interfered with because of, you know, my perceived disability. Uh, where was the sensitivity, disability sensitivity training, the ADA requirement, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, here I am following up, doing what is correct, wanting to make it right for everyone, and at each and every turn, all you have seen is the continual risk management here. So, you know, I believe that, you know, the 8-15-2012 incident, I believe, you know, when I went to go file the police report, it was filed under uh, suspicious occurrence. So, you know, we'll just file another one here. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this is a suspicious occurrence that happened to me yesterday at the uh, Special Victims Unit. I also want to file police reports for the denial of HIPAA and Intala law at San Francisco General. I, I realize that my rights have been abrogated you know, without my permission and consent by the San Francisco Police Department to the sheriff who has sole jurisdiction, but I will still continue to file the correct police reports if I am allowed. Hello, Mr. Padmore. Can someone come out and help me, or is there nobody here today? So can you come out and help me, or should I come in and speak to you? Oh, that doesn't work, and I've said that in the past, and as a matter of fact, you know, I have videos to prove that. So, you know, there's no LGBT liaison who can help me today here. As far as I'm the only one here today, and I manage... Well, I just want to give a police report. Can you help me with that? You can go downstairs to the Southern Station, please, sir. So you can't help me give, take my police report here, like Mr. Yamaguchi could the other day? You have to go down to Southern Station, sir. Uh, I didn't have to when I did it with Mr. Yamaguchi. No, sir, I, I, I don't want to be, you know, mishandled. So this will go on YouTube because, like I said, I had, you know, Mr. Yamaguchi take a police report, and now all of a sudden you're denying it to me. Thank you. I'll be back. Well, folks, there's no one here to help me. The 14th largest city in the United States. Hmm.